Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how to customize a Google Form. And in one of my earlier videos I showed you how to create a very simple one, and this time what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can change the colors and add some photos and videos and other elements to make your form more interesting to look at and maybe get a higher response rate. So this is how to do it. To get to your form, if you've already created one, go to Drive drive.google.com and then click on your recent activities and the one that I'm going to work on is pet preferences and of course if you haven't worked on it recently it was a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago you can always just search drive for the title and you can say pet preferences and we will show right up so this was a very simple form just two questions and I just used the default settings for Google Forms which is this purple background that's basically it. There's no photos or anything like that. And one thing that people want to do a lot is after they've created a form, well, first of all, maybe they want to edit the text. So you could say pet preferences in America. That's very simple to do. You just click on the, the thing that you want to edit and then you can just start typing. But let's say you want to change the color, this purple color. Well, that's cool, but Maybe you like red or green. So you can just click on those colors and it will switch it instantly. But what I like to do to make a more effective form is to really add images. And so Google has some default images you can use. Click on the color palette up here and then go to the lower right hand corner to this symbol, which looks like a uh, two mountains in a square and click on it. And basically it will show all of these cool pictures that they've gathered from various uh, stock photography agencies it looks like. They're all the right size so all you need to do if you find one you like is just click on it, click select, and then, it'll sit, and then it will put it right there. Okay, but I'm doing pet preferences in America. I don't think that's really a good image to use so I'm going to switch it to something else. And by the way, you can also get a picture from one of your own albums. So let's do that. So here are my albums that are stored in Google. And these are mostly work-related things. So let's say that I wanted to put my books up there. I would just select it from my albums. It lets you uh, crop it a little bit to make it wider, but not too wide. All right, that's good enough. I like that. Click Select. It's loading it up. Okay, so my books now are up in the top here. And when you view it, you'll see these books. But again, I'm talking about pets. This isn't really that appropriate. So let's find something else. This will be my last one, I promise. Yeah, here's a great one. It shows a moving butterfly on some flowers. It looks kind of related to animals, so I'm going to take that one. And there we go. So when people open up this form, they'll see this attractive uh, banner on the top here. Now the other thing you can do is you can add images in the middle of your survey. So for instance, let's say I wanted to put some sort of uh, an image right before this question, do you own a pet? Go to the bottom, it says add image. We can also go to the right here, it says add video. But add image, and again, you'll be brought to a, some options to either drag an image here to upload there. Um, you can also use by URL, meaning if you see an image somewhere else that you like to use and you're legally able to use it, you can, you can uh, paste that in there. Or you can just go to your albums again and use another image. So let's say that I wanted to use my book images again. Click select, and they're gonna stick that right in the middle. And uh, here, Book. I can t say books about pets and other topics. Okay. It's not really a question, it's just like a little extra thing that I put in there. If I don't like that image, just click the trash can and it's gone. And you may be wondering, well, why would you put a, a video in there? Because you can choose a video as well. And the reason is maybe you want to show people how to fill out the form or give them some information before they fill out the form. So that's how you customize a form. 
And of course, once you're ready to share it with people, click on the little paper airplane icon up here that says send. And then you can send an email to them. You can click on the chain icon. And you'll get a URL that you can copy and paste. You can also use a short URL. Or this is the embed code, which means you can put it on a blog, on some sort of website, uh, so other people can see it on your own website, for example. Anyways, that's how to customize a form. For more information about using Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Docs, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And thanks so much for watching.